This very last example for our AR curriculum is when our owner is adding money themselves to their own bank account in the example of an investment or contribution. And we'll see this a lot in small businesses uh, when they're transferring money from their personal account to their business account to cover business expenses. So this happens quite often and I wanna make sure that you guys know how to add this in correctly because there are many, many business owners out there and bookkeepers that are kind of screwing this up. So let's check out how to do this. This is very, very simple. Um, and the way that I like to teach it is through the journal entry method because we just learned it, but also it's a little foolproof. So here we go. All right, so again, foolproof method journal entry, and I'm gonna use 101724. I'm just gonna leave the journal entry number. And we're only gonna need um, two lines for this. It's gonna be the owner's, uh, owners, actually, I'm gonna kinda tell you, <laughs> let's talk CC brain, okay? Um, this is a way to make sure that I don't mess this up because I, you know, as many times as I've done journal entries for the entirety of my career, I still mess them up and I put them on the wrong sides. So I, I again, have these habits and these kind of um, ways of doing things so that it helps me remember. So you guys can do it however you want, but I'm going to show you how I remember. So I know that it's going into the checking account. And maybe I see this, um, uh, again, we can we can go two different ways. We can do the split version of this as well, I think. I'll double check. But I like to use a journal entry method um, because I know it'll be there. Oops, run into my desk. So the checking account, um, I always remember that when I'm dealing with bookkeeping and accounting, if I'm receiving money like a deposit in my checking account, you would think that it would be a credit, right? Because we think checking account debits means that we're going to take money out like our debit card. So that's what I say to myself. Okay, with, if it's a checking, it's the opposite. Uh, debits mean deposits. Credits are actually debits. So the only thing I keep in mind is debits are deposits. So if it's a deposit into the checking, it's $55. Or sorry, I think it's 200 is in what's on that bank feed that I'm looking at. So checking goes up in money because that's an asset. So to increase the dollar amount, $200 goes in the debits. So debits equals deposits. And it was an owner's entry. So we're going to tab on over to owner's equity, not owner's entry, owner's equity. Okay, come on. I don't know what's on here. There it is. Oh, they don't have, I have to add it. I always forget that the sample company does not have it on there already, which is silly. They should absolutely already have that on there. But we're just gonna add it here. That's fine. Let's put, Owner's investment, perfect, okay, save and close. And if we credit it, that means that the owner's investment goes up because they are putting money in from their own pockets. We're not going to add their personal bank account information or attach or link, AKA connect, their personal bank accounts to QuickBooks. That would be the incorrect way to do it. If their personal accounts are just solely personal accounts, then we're going to just treat it as an owner's investment. Even when they're doing, say, bank to bank transfers, that's fine. It can be owner's investment. We do not need to label it unless they want that to happen. We can always organize it that way. However, that's based on what you guys want to see um, and what they want to see for your particular client. We're gonna save and close. And now when we go over to the bank feed, we should see that match. And there it is. This is the second match that we just did together. 
All right. And that's this general entry too. The other way we could do it, and I, I'm hoping we could do it with all these new updates. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, deposit vendor customer can just stay empty. And I believe we can select owner's investment here. So you guys can also select that there. And it just you it'll turn into a deposit style, a transaction, and not a journal entry. Now, if you do both, if you do both, where you add in the owner's investment as well as already have a journal entry in, you're gonna now have created two entries and we don't want that, okay? We wanna match or not create a journal entry altogether. All right, so there are different ways to do this. So we don't even have to do the split at all. We just select owner's investment and it'll create a deposit for us. But if you were to, just so you know, if you were to add this, while having a journal entry as well, you will create two deposits for yourself and you're gonna create a mess. So don't do that, do one or the other. I hope that this curriculum has helped you understand how to add um, income and revenue that's coming in for your client or yourself. If you guys have any questions, like I've been mentioning this entire time, please feel free to set up a 20 minute free Zoom call with me or just shoot me an email. Um, the Zoom calls are a little more helpful, I will say, because a lot of uh, situations tend to be unique because each person is unique. So their businesses are then unique to them and their, tr their choices. Uh, so if you guys have any feedback or there's something you'd like me to cover that I didn't cover, also feel free to let me know. And I would love to do a section based on that. So again, thanks again. And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this lesson.